Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I will be short here for a rant for you guys. Now, I would have done this rant about two weeks ago when, excuse me, when said event uh, occurred for this rant, but I have been busy playing the absolute fuck out of Mass Effect 3. Awesome game, Bioware, but your ending blows. More on that later. Uh, so, for you guys um, who wanted me to make a rant and have been asking me to do a rant, here it is. I'm sorry it took so long. For those of you demanding a rant, and screaming at me for not doing it, go fuck yourself in the ear with a red hot poker, you massive walking dildos. There we go. Now, moving on. The rant this time around is going to be based on the YouTube layout change. Now, this happened about two weeks ago, and it has been a massive fucking thorn on my side and many other people's sides since then. And, you know, the fact that YouTube has, you know, completely neglected to fucking respond to criticism. They're basically blanking everybody because they're a bunch of raging whores. But anyway, I'm going to cover three things in this rant. First out being visual appearance, second being function, and the third one being the glitches that have been appearing, so basically technical issues. I was doing air quotes there, but you know, personally don't give a fuck. Anyway, visual appearance first up. Let's have a look at how gay this fucking thing looks. Now, you'll see up in the right hand corner there is a small screenshot of my current page. Now. I know a bunch of people have slightly altered their page, but unfortunately the layout is always going to be pretty much the fucking same because they've only given us four presets to choose from. You have the broadcaster, the creator, and the blogger, and the other one. I can't remember the other one. I think it's everything is what they call it. Basically, these are all a pile of shit. Now, personally, the first thing I see when I log into my page is, oh dear God, what the fuck happened? Now, before... Uh, I'm gonna gonna take everybody back a time warp to possibly a month ago. When you logged into YouTube, you saw your page, your page that you have customized, the page that you spent, in my case, seven years making look the business and the way I wanted it, from my custom text to my font colors to uh, the op opacity of my windows to the panel layout and the way I wanted it and the you know general awesomeness of said channel. Now if you take a time freaking quick speed up to now, what you see is a gay ass looking iPhone app, not a website. This shit would be acceptable if it was on a portable device. Fuck, this shit would be acceptable if it was on the Xbox version of YouTube, which it is. That's fair enough. We don't expect full functionality out of a console or a mobile device, but this is a fucking website that had a shit ton more shit going for it than now. So, I'd like to ask, which fucking knuckle dragon fuck stick munching peckerhead and the design team is responsible for this abomination? Which one of you cockhands has basically been sitting at their office for the last fucking three and a half years, fapping in the back office, photocopying their ass, and huffing tepex? Because whoever is responsible for this should be punted squarely in the fucking clacker bag. There is no reason for this bullshit. Oh yes, and what's the color scheme we should go for that everybody's going to be stuck with? Oh yes, that's right, grey and dingy white. Because everybody loves grey and dingy white. Anyway, let's just move on. The fact that it looks basically just hideous, and the fact that everybody's looks the same. So, customization has completely gone out the window. There's nothing. Nobody can customize anything. Everybody's stuck with the same fucking ragingly bright bullcrap. And also the fact that the only thing you can now customize officially is your background. And because of said fucking stupid interface, you can't even see the background, so what's the point? Yes. Also the fact that the entire layout is completely went and screwed. Um, you know, your ability to actually communicate properly with anybody on YouTube. So that brings me right down to functionality. Um, it's a complete ass to navigate. I... I'm sure everybody else here has noticed that it's a complete bitch to actually find anything now. And I've heard comments from people who said, Oh, well, I switched during the, the option to switch, and it's not all that difficult. Uh, I don't care how long you've been frickin' jerking off into the wind. It doesn't mean I'm gonna enjoy what you're producing, Mr. Fuckhead. Go die. Personally, I hate it. Because before, my layout was very simple. I had my active vid... Up top, you could click play and watch it. I had a list of all my vids down the right-hand side. 
and then I had my subscribers, my friends, and my channel comments, and down the left hand side I had my personal blurb. So, that was fine. That was easy for me to work. Anybody could post a comment on my page, they could discuss shit with me, it would be very simple. Now, I have to go to my main page, click on feed, click on comments, and then scroll down. They've basically taken a one-click process and turned it into a five, almost a, a sorry, a three-click process. Why? What was so wrong with the original look? And we already know that YouTube can uh, su support both looks. They did it before, because there was people who voluntarily switched. I pity you so much, and those of us who were stubborn and didn't want to. So YouTube, for a time, had these both looks, and they were both supported. So what the fuck happened that someone went, well, you know what, uh, we can't have these people being individuals for so long, let's all turn them into corporate pansies. Also with the functionality, I found that certain features just don't work anymore. Like certain buttons don't work, or certain videos won't play, or for my personal favorite, this has only happened recently, since the uh, thing, uh, the layout change, is when I click on a video, sometimes none of the fucking pause, play, or any of these buttons will work, and all I'll get is the little fucking circle thing in the middle of the screen, constantly doing this while the video is playing. So I can't, I lose complete control of the video, and yet I get a fucking loading bar. Or a loading animation. That's a piece of crap. That only started happening recently. Fuck you. Anybody else gets that problem, please feel free to try and write it in the comments if you can find the fucking comments. The other uh, functionality thing is this whole feed thing that they've implemented. Basically, that's like Stalker Vision 2012. That thing just follows everything you do on YouTube. Now, I personally went to Google and turned off the whole stat tracking thing, and yet YouTube doesn't give you that option to stop them from fucking stalking you. Everything you do on YouTube, they know. It's like, oh well. You know, uh, two hours ago, Shard watched this video. And the problem is, because people click on my feed, they go, Shard watched that video. That must be a good video. I'll go watch it. No, don't. Okay? Don't. If it's an interesting video, I will post it in my comments page and I will link you guys to it. If I watch it and it's on my fucking feed, it's more than likely, 90% of the time, because somebody has linked it to me through Skype, I have no clue what it is, I click on it and I'm like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. If you want to know what videos I watch and actually find funny, check my fucking favorites. Jeez. Don't follow this frickin' stalker old bull crap and think, Oh well, Shard must watch this. This must be good. Ha ha ha. Wait, Shard has no sense of humor. Fuck off. That's not what I'm watching. <clears throat> but also, let's bring it back down to the glitches. The th like, I've mentioned this before. It's kind of glitch, kind of functionality. The buttons don't work and crap like this. Um, but the thing I'm talking about glitch-wise is the fact that Currently, most of you know, I have been hemorrhaging subscribers. I used to have over 3,100 subscribers or something like that. I know it's a small amount, but I don't do a lot. I don't freaking broadcast myself on any other site. I don't big up myself all the time. I basically just make these videos, and whoever watches and subscribes, you're awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But the fact that I am now losing subscribers due to a glitch, this is dumb. Now... YouTube did slightly innovate with this little thing because they threw up a stat tracker thing. This is how I know this is a glitch. Their whole stat tracker BS. Now I went in there and it says I haven't lost any subscribers in the last fucking three months. I have been gaining subscribers. So please explain how I went from 3,100 to 2,970 uh, something? Yes. Well, it turns out... Uh, YouTube has been deleting old accounts that are inactive for more than six months. So basically, if you're not on YouTube practically every month, your account will get closed. And basically that just removes subscribers from anyone's list, because if the account no longer exists or the account has been shut down, the subscriber disappears. But that's not all. I've actually been messaged by a couple of people, one of them on my channel, another couple personally, who've messaged me saying, Hey Shard, um, I am subscribed to you, but... The subscribe button keeps appearing, and every time I click it, it says, I cannot subscribe. So basically, there's some BS going on with the fucking site where people are actually subscribed to me, but it's not registering that they're subscribed to me. That is fucking retarded. Now, as a person who... I don't really care how many subs I get, as long as people watch these videos uh, and, you know, like them, then all's well in the world for me. Because this is just a hobby, as I've said before, and I've been doing it for years. But the thing that pisses me off is the fact that I feel somewhat fucking shat on by YouTube. 
Not just by the glitches and the fact that they've implemented this thing poorly, even though they had months to fucking test it, but it's down to the fact that they've done it in such an underhanded way. Because before, what you could do on YouTube is you go to someone's page that you liked and you could watch their entire catalog of content on their page. You would select a video from the site or wherever they had their video list, and it would upload on their page and you could watch it in their sort of embedded player. Now that doesn't work. You click on a video and it takes you directly to a different page. And when you click on the embedded the, the video player on that page and watch your content, instead of bringing up a list of all stuff made by that person, if you check up on the right hand side, what you will find is a bunch of sponsored links first, and then content related to the person that you just clicked on. So basically what they're doing is they're doing the whole Google fucking sponsored link shit to BS everybody out of it. Plus they're also throwing ads onto your videos mandatorily. Now you can take, get rid of these ads, but it means you basically have to go through your settings, try and find where it is, which is a pain in the ass. It took me about a whole 10 minutes, which I know, not that much of a pain, but it's a pain when they don't fucking tell you how to get rid of the ads. You have to go search it up to find out how to get rid of the ads. And then you click off the option and then ads don't appear. But then basically Google makes fun of you and goes, well, you, you're not going to get any money if you don't do this ad thing. I don't want any fucking money. I've never won any money for doing these videos, you freaking raging cockbags. I do this because it's fun. And because people enjoy it. And because I'm not a sanctimonious cockface with a fucking ego problem, YouTube. Google. Both combined to make form of asshole. Anyway. Fuck it, I'm done. Um, I will be doing another rant at some point over the Mass Effect 3 ending shenanigans. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, head up my comments page. Uh, I will request this time, instead of posting it up in a freaking thing at the end of the video, that as many people can check their subscriber thing as possible and see if they are still subscribed to me. If not, uh, try and hit the subscribe button. If it gives you an error, please put something in to the YouTube higher-ups. Maybe they'll start fucking paying attention if there's enough shit in writing. But anyway, I live in hope. Uh, I am starting to move my videos to blip.tv and I will put up a actual link to blip.tv uh, once the move is complete it may take a couple of months but anyway peace out you guys uh, this has been RVB Shard for Shard Productions doing another rant for you guys so peace